Hi everyone, Mike Cardin is from Sweet Cars. Now this is a problem that has plagued all of us. You get done working a really intense detailing project and you're left with a stack of these. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to clean and maintain your microfiber pads. To do this, you'll need some very simple tools, a sink with warm water, a brush, in this case we're using a Tough Shine brush, and you actually do need a foam pad cleaner. In this case, we're using the Griot's microfiber and foam pad cleaner. And basically what these cleaners do is it actually breaks up all the waxes and all the polish that's on these pads, okay? Now you could use just regular warm water, but this actually works a lot better. So spraying that onto the surface, you can let it soak. Basically just scrub this with your, your uh, pad, turn your water on, rinse these in. You'll start slowly start to see this stuff go come away. And you can use this for all foam pad. This in this case we're using the Meguiar's um, microfiber pad, but you can do the same for all the other ones. And you'll start seeing a break loose. Now on to the drying process. Now some manufacturers will recommend putting them in a dryer. However, keep in mind that not all pads are created the same way. If you put eight or 10 pads together in a dryer, they're tumbling around. A lot of times they can start to lose shape, delaminate, or get damaged in other ways. So here's a safe and easy tip. Just let them air dry. But keep in mind that if you let them flat like this out on your surface, you're actually exposing the whole pad to get contaminated. So one way to get around this is to actually just lay them vertically, have them dry this way. One, it speeds up the process of drying, and two, you're eliminating the surface area on which contaminants can fall onto that pad. That way, the next time you go to use it, it's safe and easy to use, and you're not gonna run into any issues. Make sure to clean them after each pad use, and just use a simple dishwasher rack, just lay them flat there and let them dry. And so until next time, take pride in your detailed ride.